In the following story, I ask you to notice the senses. What do you see, smell, taste, feel, hear? It's called My Jewish Childhood. I loved visiting my grandma's apartment with its fringed window shades and faint smell of eucalyptus. Her desk drawers, lined in green felt, spilled over with card decks, cocktail napkins and old photographs. Every door was fitted with wobbly crystal doorknobs. The bathroom smelled of Listerine. My brother and I would sleep in the small bedroom off the kitchen, the very room our mum shared with her own brother growing up on Saint Laurent Boulevard in old Montreal. I can picture myself reaching way down into Grandma's frost-filled chest freezer for the ever-present box of Eskimo pies. Her well-stocked pantry and doily-covered tabletops contained loads of delectable treats. I was often denied at home. Pastries, chocolate-covered marshmallow cookies and delicate bowls of jellied orange sticks and other candy. Some my grandma even bought. It was what my mother called junk candy. Pixie sticks, straws full of tart sugar you sprinkled on your tongue. Tiny wax Coke bottles with coloured sugar water inside. Wax lips and wax buck teeth you could wear and chew. There were jaw breakers, also known as gobstoppers, which you sucked until they turned different colours. And best of all were the candy cigarettes, the mint ones with pink tips, as well as chocolate cigarettes and licorice pipes. Those childhood memories of my grandma are largely synonymous with food. In my mind's eye, I can still picture Passover dinners with a million Jewish relatives in the basement of some wizened old uncle's apartment building. I hear the singing and the laughter and the chatter of Yiddish, which I never did learn to understand. Other childhood memories recall the mysteries of new baby brothers coming on the scene, building a hideout among the branches of a fallen tree, and in winter skating on the Lachine Canal, or building forts in the snow piled along the sides of the streets.